West Park Hospital. Yeah. Just a moment. Jackie. Phone call. It's a man. Hello? Where'd you get that big Cadillac? <laughs> I never saw you drive that before. Who is this? I want to help you. I told you before, you filthy mouth. Displaying your body is filth. You dirty the mind of others. Do you know what they should do with little girls like you? They should take you. Hey. Hey, what's the matter? Is that freak still bothering you? Oh, I don't understand why the police can't put a stop to weirdos like that. You don't know if they're harmless or not. Hey, come on. Come on. I've been waiting here for, him for over three hours. We're supposed to go to Barstow to meet some friends. Maybe he had car trouble. Maybe. If so, you could be here a long time. Uh, look, I, I could drop you off a lot closer to Barstow than this. Well, that's really nice of you. But we don't know each other. <laughs> well, if that's all that's stopping you. My name's Jackie. I'm uh, on my way up to the mountains to see about a nursing job. I'm single, live alone, and, well, that's about it. Hey, you got yourself a deal, Jackie. I'm Linda Williams. And about all I can tell you about myself is that I've been on my own since I was 14. I've absolutely no roots. I guess I'm what you call a free soul. Good. My, my Baptist parents would turn over in their graves if they ever saw me drink or smoke. <laughs>
May I help you? Yes. Um, I'm Jackie Carroll. I have an appointment to see Dr. Hudson. Oh, yes. I'm Mrs. Walker. My husband and I run the camp. I tried to reach you in Los Angeles before you left. Dr. Hudson has been called out on an emergency, and I'm afraid he won't be back until Sunday afternoon. Oh, great. Would you like me to reschedule the appointment for some other time? No, uh, I'll just stay at my aunt's place until he gets back. Uh, it's the Whitney place, about a mile up the road. If he should get back before Sunday, could you let me know? Certainly. Okay. Thank you. Um, I called my friends, but there wasn't any answer. You all set? No, I, I have to hang around until Sunday. Uh, look, uh, my aunt's got a house near here. We could stay there. Oh, I, I guess it would be all right. Okay. I'll even drive you down to the bus station in the morning. Hey, I really appreciate this. Just as long as I get to Barstow by tomorrow, fine. Okay. You the one for the nurse's job? Yes. She's staying at the Whitney place until Doc gets back. So why tell me? Because the glow in your eyes said you were going to try and find out anyway, dear husband. Family's really got money. Some. I mean, you must, must really be loaded having a place like this. <laughs> hey, my family's got all the money, not me. I work for a living, remember? You engaged or anything? No. It's too much I want to do yet before I get tied down. Besides, as the male animals say, variety is the spice of life. <laughs> I think I'd give it a try if I found the right guy. <laughs> you want to play one more? No, not really. I'm kind of beat. Do you like being a nurse? Sometimes. Sometimes not. Wish I had the guts to move in with some sensational man and let him pay all the bills. Mm, I don't think you'd have any trouble finding a John to do that. <laughs> no. I guess not. I wanted to be a nurse once when I was a little kid. Of course, I wanted to be a little bit of everything when I was a kid. My mother wanted me to be a teacher like her. The school was such a bore, you know what I mean? Reading and history, algebra, home economics. Oh. So, I decided to split, to live the way I wanted to. To go places and do things. Not the same old boring things I used to do back home. You know? Besides, how would I ever meet a groovy chick like you? from Barstow, Donna. At your service, any time, madam. And Rita. Oh, howdy. This is Jackie. Jackie. Jackie! Um, Tim went to Barstow to pick them up first. That's why he was late in getting me. They, they got to the gas station right after we left. They've been traveling all day. Mm. Oh, I hope you don't mind about the food. No, not at all. Good. Good. Um, Good. I don't want to sound like a sponge or anything, but um, 
Is it all right if they spend the night? They're really my best friends. Sure, it's okay. Thank you, Jackie. 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 Baptist parents just turned over in their graves. What? <laughs> just got here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, since I hear about you leaving, lady. Then we were just getting to know one another, lady. <laughs> Looking for something? How did you get my keys? Give them to me. Give me my keys! Maybe I, maybe I will. <laughs> maybe I won't. Oh, yeah. Somebody. Okay, Miss Mew. I'll tell you what. You better do as I tell you. Because if you make me run from this place, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to burn it down. You understand? Now, look, all, all you've got to do is go out there and make whoever it is go away and not want to come back. And then I'll give you your keys back and you get no fire, okay? Yes, I, I did. Um, what did you want, Mr. Walker? Well, I was on my way to the village to do some grocery shopping, and I thought maybe you'd want something. Oh, isn't that nice? No, I'm afraid not. Um, thank you anyway. Well, if you need anything while you're here, just give me a holler. Uh, that's what neighbors are for. Real good, Jackie. Look there. Over there. I did what you wanted, now give me the keys. Nope. You promised. Oh, I lied. <laughs> I have had it up to here with all of you. Now, if you don't get the hell out of my house right now, I'm calling the police. <laughs> now, you ain't gonna call nobody. We're going to get out of here real soon, ain't we, family? Sure. Yeah, right. Certainly are. See, this here's what's wrong with the world. Nobody knows how to get along with nobody. What we have here is a failure to communicate. Amen. 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 Goodbye, wow, look at all the goodies. You can't. Wow. <laughs> Money, look, here. What's up? Ooh, I'll drink all that. You want a drink, honey? I'm going to keep the wallet. I want a sunglass. I'm going to drink this. I'm going to shove this in my throat. She's got 600 bucks in her account. Far out, man, we struck gold. Hey, what's going on? Oh, you look beautiful. Oh, that nose is good. Oh, what a pearly lady. My, you look lovely. I could even go for you myself. Right across there. 
Perfect. Beautiful. You look great. There. I'm finished. Oh, oh, no. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know what she needs? What? Let me get. Go little slippers. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm bored. I say we split. Yeah. We shall leave, little kittens. <clears throat> but not until the grand finale with its skyrockets of sensation and bursting bombs of pleasure has come to its rightful climax. Dirty old man. I love it. Linda, <laughs> honey, yeah. give your old man a hand. With pleasure. Come on. Come on. Get it. Bye. <laughs> Be very careful, honey. You don't want you to hurt yourself. <laughs> Okay, Linda, grab her. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. how to take care of people like that. I'll see you later, Frank. Sloan said he's going right over to her place. And he also says we ought to keep her here at the motel for a while. I think it's a good idea. Put her in 12 next to that man who came in yesterday. Right. Let's go, young lady.
I do something for you, mister? Uh, no. Just, uh, get, get some air. You say she had a white Cadillac convertible? Right. Well, it's gone. So's the group. I'll put an APB out on the car. Tell Miss Carroll I'd like to talk to her in the morning. Get a description of her friends. Will do. Mrs. Walker? Ed, I want her out of here tomorrow. Come on, Millie. Just because a pretty little girl runs in her, you, you think I get all out and bothered? She's a tramp. Girls like her cause trouble. But Millie, she... No buts. After she wakes up, you get her out of here. to apologize for moving you out of the motel, but it's my wife. She thought with you around there, there might be trouble. It's all right, I understand. Um, there isn't going to be any trouble, is there? I mean, uh, between you and me? What are you talking about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. Who do you think you're kidding? You're just like those little whores that tore up the place. You were so tanked up last night, you would have balled any guy that propositioned you. You're a bigger bum than I thought. Even the worst Main Street sluts put up a fight. No, when it comes out easy, baby, it's not worth it. alone, Miss Carol. Now, the police thought that it might be a good idea if you just came over and stayed with me and my wife, just in case some of those uh, characters came back. Okay. Good. Fine. My wife will appreciate the company, and, uh, well, we're just trying to help, Miss Carol. Thank you. I thought for a moment you were... You were one of those animals trying to come back and hurt me. Oh, no, no, no. I'd never harm anyone I wanted to help. What? I want to help you, Miss Carol. I want to help you. 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 I just want to help.
Hello. I told you I wouldn't forget you, Charlene. I want to help you. Charlie, it's for you. It's old weirdo again. Tell the old weirdo I don't have time to play games. Listen, she doesn't have time to play phone games right now, huh, weirdo? Well, Charlie, I almost gave up on you. Say hello quickly to uh, Perry Sutton. Hello. Sam Hawkins. Sam. And uh, Glory and Sandy. Hi. Hi. Hey, you in charge? Uh, no, uh, she is. This all that's coming? Yes. Grab your bags, let's get out of here. I've done everything you asked for, lady, but I couldn't fix the generator. No electricity? No, but I filled the kerosene lamps and provided plenty of candles. You brought enough food for an army. You think you're staying a week? I gotta get back before dark. You know something? What? You are a goddamn rude son of a bitch. And you're a pain in the ass, lady! here at 3 p.m. Sunday sharp. So be on time. And remember, any damage done to the house, you pay for. Is that the house up there? That's it. It's a drag to keep walking up here. Either that or swim back eight miles. We'll think of the exercise. Help you ladies keep those bodies in good shape. I don't need that kind of exercise to keep my shape. Then what kind do you need? If I knew you better, I might tell you. Fascinating to call. Early Yiddish Imperial. Well, I just checked out the upstairs. Whoever lives here certainly has a sense of horror. Don't you mean humor? No, I mean horror. No telephones, no electricity. And a caretaker who was last seen in a Dracula picture. Well, just think of it, ladies. Your beautiful faces and bodies photographed against this background of beauty, mystery, and romance. It makes sense of old history. I would like to utilize whatever light that's left and shoot in the greenhouse. And after that, um, 
I would like to start the layout down by the cliff. Then it's, uh, well, it's dinner and off to bed. In case anybody's interested, this is exactly what being in the army was like. You know, you, you sit around in a cold place and you eat cold food when there's no electricity and there's some inhuman CO giving orders. It was incidentally, uh, it's actually Newton. Another gem of wisdom from our resident hack. Or perhaps hack isn't the right word for our Perry Sutton, eh, Perry? Forget I said anything, or I'll just pass over it. Oh, come now, Mr. Hemingway. We all know the word for a man who lives off of sweet young girls, don't we? I believe that it's spelled P-I-M-P. -P. Shut up, God damn it, shut up. That's spelled Pip, Mr. Perry Sutton. Pip! that was? I mean, between uh, Perry and Melissa. Oh, they've been at each other's throats for years. What about? Well, Uncle Perry knows a lot of important people. And one day, he latched on to one of Melissa's little pets and turned her on to a life of private sin, dope, and money. Oh, does, does Perry turn on? I don't know. But I do know that he gets girls for some really big people in town. Manages their careers or something like that. Well, I don't understand why Melissa would have freaked out. She must come across hundreds of girls. Honey, if you were half butch, how would you feel if the girl you loved left you for a man? <laughs> you didn't have to talk to me like that in front of the girls. Why not? You're nothing but a scavenger. How in the hell you ever got this job, I'll never know. You should have been kicked out on your ass ten years ago. Well, superwoman crap may work very well with the others, but not with me. I knew you went, remember? You show as much creativity in your feet as you do on your back to be a big... Get out! Of... Get the hell out! You know? We don't have to do this to each other. You want some? I don't drink. No bad habits, huh? Depends on what you call bad. What do you want, Sandy? Oh. Am I that obvious? Yes. Money? Success? What do you want from me? You know, um, Melissa didn't have any right to talk to you the way she did. She's just a jealous freak. You want money from me, huh? No. But Gloria told me that you have friends and influence and that you can help a girl. Well, that's right. Everybody has friends. You know, every girl hustles in some way. I think you have to give something away in order to get something. You're right. It will cost you. Everything costs, Mr. Sutton. Let's say that I uh, decide to introduce you to the right people. We'll call it an insurance of success. It'll cost you 20%. Of everything? Everything. You, uh, you know, success comes high, Sandy. You do want to make it, don't you?
Uncle Perry. I want to make it very, very much. Mine yet? I'm not interested in your plans for my career. But maybe you'd have better luck with Sandy. Oh, and no, Sandy's just a kid. I saw her going to your room last night. Uh, your fangs are showing. I called them like I see them, honey. Well, why don't you try and see things my way? I can see that you'll meet a lot of very important people. Mm. I groove on quality, not quantity. Now, look. We both know you've got too much talent to keep on modeling. You'd be nice to me, and I'll get you into something big. Now. You know, Melissa was right. There is a four-letter word for you, Perry. B O R E. Well, at least you spelled it right. on working as if nothing happened. Look, Sandy had an accident. She's dead. Well, I feel just as sorry as you do. But there's a lot of work to be done, and it isn't going to get finished feeling sorry for her. Now, Glory, would you please get ready? Why is it with accidents like this that the wrong people have them? That slave driver bitch you pulled this afternoon was disgusting. A girl is dead. Don't you have any feelings at all? Look, I'm here to get a job done. Not to play towel girl for a bunch of sob sisters. You're going too far, Melissa. Not even your depraved bedroom stunts are going to save you now. Look, I've had it with you, you son of a bitch! I'm going to take care of you for good. You'll never work in this business again. You're through! Finished!
Hey, who the hell are you? I didn't have anything to do with it. Oh, did it ever occur to any of you that there might be somebody else here? How'd they get here, Melissa? Ain't nobody walked across water in years. I don't know, but we damn well better take a look. All right, we're gonna do just that. I got a little 38 revolver up in my room. First, we're gonna check out the house from top to bottom, and then I'm gonna go outside and search the grounds. Leave us alone with her? No. No, three, you're gonna go to your rooms and lock yourselves in. That way, everybody's safe. Agreed? Sounds all right to me. Let's go downstairs. Hey! So what are we doing? Look, you go back to your rooms and lock the doors, okay? I'm going to go outside and look for a boat. A boat? Yeah, a boat. There's got to be a boat here. But what if there is? Then we can get the hell out of here. But well, suppose he gets to it first. Fantastic. Then we're going to win, okay? Look. Look, take this, all right? I'm not even one of these things! Good. All you've got to do is... Listen, all you got to do is point it at anything that moves and pull the trigger, okay? Okay. Come on. Suicide. <laughs> Just sitting here, I'll get us a couple of blankets. Okay, but hurry up. I don't want to sit here on the steps for too long.
okay? I'm okay. Damnedest killings I've seen in all my years as a cop. I don't know how it could have been done. Nobody else was on the island. I know that for a fact. Hardly anybody knows this place exists. Somebody could have found it by boat. Might have been your boat for all we know. Oh, no. Not my boat. Found it today just like I left it Friday. You think one of these six was the killer and then committed suicide? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Whoever did it's out of their mind. Yeah. Rendell Flores. Uh, hello. I'd like to send uh, two dozen yellow roses. Yes, sir. To Rosita Street, Playa del Rey, California. Announcing the arrival of Pacific Airlines flight. 307 from Seattle at gate 5. Announcing the departure of Southwestern Airlines flight 402 to Reno. Gate 6, please. before I left the terminal. I think things haven't changed since I left. No. See you in a minute. Bye. Bye. Not bad. Hey, Patsy, did you put those flowers in my place? Yeah. Where'd they come from? Regular florist delivery. The driver said they were for you, so I just put them in there. And there was no card or anything? Nope, nothing. That's strange. Maybe they're from Don, his way of calling the truce. Hmm, maybe. And now maybe you two will stop squabbling like a couple of kids in natural ages? No, that's just impossible. Hey, if you're not doing anything tonight, you're in for a real treat. Oh, Patsy's having the party to end all parties. Lots of guys, lots of food. Lots of luck. I got a date. And I don't have to be a Phi Beta cap, but a guest with who, right? Oh, my phone's ringing. It's probably Don wanting to know what you think of the flowers. Tell him that they make you sneeze. And that you're allergic to roses. <laughs>
Hello, hello. Beautiful, aren't they? Uh, why, yes, but... Yellow. I hope they bury you in yellow. What are you saying? I'm not going to allow you to expose your naked body anymore. No. Oh. Doesn't look like Don even mentioned the flowers. No, that wasn't Don. It was whoever sent the flowers. A real sick one. Did you recognize the voice? No, I don't think so. It was probably just some horny guy's idea of a joke. Yeah, someone in the building. <laughs> drink down my neck. Want to take a swim? Uh, you betcha. I, I would like to. Come on, guys. We're going. Right. Right. the magazine have been killed and one's missing. We also believe he was responsible for those island murders. Yes, well, that may be very good for Detective Magazine, Lieutenant, but I really... You're a centerfold girl. And this lunatic, for some crazy reason, wants to kill pretty girls. Did you show up at Miss Martin's party any time earlier this evening, maybe? No, I had a date. You're home pretty early. Yes, well, my ex-boyfriend and I had another argument just before we decided to call it quits. Has anything unusual happened in your life lately? Like, uh, have you received any oddball mail or strange phone calls or anything? Yes. From a man who sent me the flowers. Was there a card with the flowers? No, there was no card. Where are the flowers now? I gave them to Patsy. Now he's killed four girls. Let's hope you don't make the mistake of Letting yourself be victim number five. Hello. I see by the morning paper I made a mistake. Who is this? I wanted to kill you. Hello? I thought stewardesses were supposed to be kind. You're never going to get rid of me. I want to help you, Vera. I'm going to... Police, may I help you? Uh, uh, yes, please. Um, I would like to speak to uh, uh, L Lieutenant Garrett uh, in, in homicide, please. I'm sorry, but Sergeant Garrett's off today. Is there anyone else I can connect you with? He's off today? Yes, ma'am. Uh, 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 no, 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 thank you. I've just got to get out of here before I flip out. This whole thing is just too much to take in one dose. Where are you going to go? Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to get in the car and drive. 
can't do that. You're a working girl, remember? Suppose you're called to go out. Okay, okay. If there's an emergency, you can reach me in a small town north of Santa Barbara called Naples. And I'll be at a place called the Surfer Motel by the night. I should be back in two or three days at the most. If I'm not, send somebody... Hi. Is this Vera? No, this isn't. This is a friend of hers. Vera went out of town for a couple of days. Could you tell me where she went? Sorry, I can't. She went out of town. Well, uh, you see, it's rather urgent that I get in touch with her. Um, this is her mother's doctor. Is something wrong? Her mother's very ill, and she needs her. Well, sure, if it's an emergency. Hold on a minute. Vera said that she was going to the Surfer Motel in a place called Naples. It's north of Santa Barbara. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please be I like the way you're wearing your hair today. It's nice hanging down like that. Were you expecting your boyfriend to come and make love to you? Who the hell is this and why do you keep bothering me? You know why. I want to help you. Oh.
Well, we ain't too good at fixing cars, but we can take it to someone who does. Well, if it wouldn't be too much trouble. Trouble? No. You going to L.A.? Yes. And we're headed back to a base at Long Beach. See? No trouble at all. <laughs> well, it looks like you got yourself a passenger. Okay. Yeah. You got a passenger? Yeah. I was thinking that you were really very lucky that we came along when we did, because if we did, you'd have some mighty sore feet. You know, ain't nothing worse than sore feet. Look up at this stuff, man. It's got a kick out. It'll kill your shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I miss. I drive better, too, so I do when I ain't. Know why? I start seeing cars everywhere and take it real easy. What else is there? Cut it out. You know something, Vera? Uh, I was pretty nervous when we first picked you up before. But it's because you're really very pretty. And you've got a really fine body. Thanks. Can we go? Let's go, Fresh. Here you go. One for me, one for you, and one for Vera. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, Thank you. But you know what? You guys ought to cool your drinking or you'll never make it back to the base. <laughs> oh, we'll make it. Well, I'll be right back. Where are you going? Out of sight. Oh, you certainly are. Oh, you know, I think, I think that's about as pretty as a piece as we're ever going to get. And, oh, and we ought to bring her behind the barn so she can show us how uh, grateful she is for all we've done for her. Good idea, only I forgot to bring the barn. <laughs> Maybe we could drop one of these things in her beer and while we. And she'll be begging for it. Right. Uh. Uh. Go get the room. Okay, okay, what's your rush? She isn't going anywhere, is she? Except the bed. Good. I don't feel very good. I don't feel very good. I think I'm... Come here, Barry. I on. think I'm going to be Come sick. Here. Come here. Please, everything's going round. I, 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 I don't feel very good. I think I'm, okay. I'm going to be sick. Listen, you just take good care of us, and we're going to take really good care oh. of you. I uh, have the room next door. I believe I heard the whole thing. Miss, do you want me to call the sheriff? Well, that won't do any good, Mr. Carson. They uh, left early this morning. I saw them. They're long gone by now. Mm. I'll get the girl some coffee. She sure looks like she needs it. I saw you come in last night. Were you drunk? My car broke down a couple miles back. These two sailors were giving me a lift. Uh, and they, they drugged me. My name is Clement Dunn. I'm a salesman on my way back to L.A. And uh, if you don't mind riding a little slow, I'll give you a lift. My car? Well, we'll report it and have it towed. How about that? Uh, 
Well, you've already done too much already. I haven't done anything. Anyway, it'd be nice to have someone to talk to instead of listening to the radio. That noise they call music. Okay, Mr. Dunn, you talked me into it. I travel this route three times a week, and I've got to admit, you're the prettiest passenger I've ever had. In fact, you're the only passenger I've ever had. Boy, my wife's really gonna give me hell. What for? I always get home about the same time from my trips up north, but uh, today I'm running a little late. It's my fault. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. It's all right. Keeps her from taking me for granted. <laughs> hey, there's a gas station right over there. There's something I got to pick up at that store. Okay, I'll see about a tow truck. Right. No, it didn't. Hey. Hey, are you feeling all right? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, the, the man told me that I could pick up a tow truck in the next town. Oh, good. Well, they didn't have what I wanted in the store, but I did find this knife. Pretty, isn't it? Well, we better... Uh... You scream and I'll slit your throat. Slide over here with me. Real close. Yes. 
at eat big. I knew you were unclean. Exposing your body like some kind of sideshow freak. You dirty the minds of others. <laughs> it's not like that at all. Please, you've got to listen to me. Giving your body to those sailors. Spreading your legs like the whore that you are. No! Oh, now, we can't let you be soiling that beautiful face. <laughs> I've got a friend who's going to make you feel better. It's quick. Son of a bitch! You've hounded me, you've scared the shit out of me, and you've tried to kill me, you freak! Well, now I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you! Ah! 